Hi Tanakisha Love Lace. Hope all is well with you at this moment. Be sure to seek, accept, and obey our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, rose on the third day, defeated death, just like we will. Live eternal life with Him in heaven. Bring everything to the Lord in prayer. Alright, today I'm going to read Romans. Romans chapter 1 verse 26 so I'm going to read 26 and 27 Romans chapter 1 because of this God gave them over to shameful lust even their women exchanged natural sexual relations for unnatural ones in the same way the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another men committed shameful acts with other men and received in them and received in themselves to do penalty for their error. So I'm gonna leave that there. Romans chapter one, that was verse twenty-six and twenty-seven. Alright, so we're speaking uh, about sexual perversion. Alright, many will call it homosexuality, gay, lesbian, all of that. Um it's sexual perversion. All of it is sexual perversion. Um, which is against God. It's unnatural. Like you say, it says in Romans chapter 1, verse 26, 27. It's unnatural. All right. They gave up the natural, um, gave up the natural for the unnatural. All right. Because you're craving lust. Some people are craving comfort. That's what you're used to. Um, some people have been molested by the same sex and then you carry on you hold you're craving those feelings because that's what you know that's you're you're familiar with that from you were a child all right so listen people we have to separate from all of it same sex attraction it's not natural we have to separate from it i mainly want to speak um about those who are saying that they're against homosexuality they don't, they hate it, hate to see a man with another man, right? They hate to see or hear that a man is lusting for another man. But they're okay with two women lusting for each other. <laughs> Come on, people. All right, I don't know if I'm speaking to you or you know people who are like this. They're against two gay men, but they're okay with lesbians. People, listen. All of it is sexual perversion. Two men and two women. You can't be against one and okay with the other. It's all the same thing. So, we need to bring our lives to God. Okay? And separate from sexual perversion. So, it's perversion because it's not God's original plan. Adam and Eve, a man and a woman. Okay? And you end up doing perverted things with each other. All right, it's unnatural people. Lots of dirty, unclean things. Oral sex, anal sex, all of that. All right, and I already spoke against oral sex already, even for those who are the opposite sex. You do dirty, unclean things. All right, you're putting things near your mouth that doesn't belong there. Anal sex, you put things near, you know, you're behind that doesn't belong there come on people that's why it's perverted all right it's sexual perversion that's not the only reason why it's also the main reason is because god created god created a man to be with him. he created adam first took a rib from adam then he created eve all right and they balance each other out okay you can have children naturally all right, because I know that nowadays they have um, the IVF treatment and all kinds of things that you can do. Once again, you're going to pervert it in the unnatural way. Let's get back to God. All right, let's get back to the Holy Scriptures. And let's not receive this as hate. Let's receive this as love. I care about you. This is why I'm warning you so you can separate from sexual perversion. Same-sex attraction is against God. Okay, and his original plan for us. We can't just go out doing things because it feels good. I'm used to it or whatever the case may be. We have to go back to God and the Holy Scriptures 
and be led by it. Be led by the Holy Spirit. God bless you all, okay? Go back and read Romans chapter 1. You could take your time and read all of it. All right? Take it all in and be taught by God. Please, people, change. Turn away. Repent and turn away from your sinful nature. All right? God will renew your whole mind, body, soul, and spirit. And you won't crave sexual perversion. God bless you all. Take care. Until next time.